What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released the RC or release candidate build of iOS 15.5 to both developers and to public beta testers. And in addition to this iOS release, we also got the RC builds of iPadOS 15.5, tvOS 15.5, HomePodOS 15.5, watchOS 8.6, and macOS Monterey 12.4. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and discussing what's new in the software, along with what to expect in the next couple of weeks. All right, so let's start off with the size of this update. And you can see here, it came in at a very large 5.27 gigabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. But of course, that is because we're going from a beta to a final release. So anytime you go from a beta to a final release or vice versa, the size is always going to be multiple gigabytes so pretty large size there let's check out the build number for this update settings general about 15.5 we can see the new build number there is 19F77. And if we scroll down to the modem firmware, we can see that is actually unchanged from the previous beta. So it remains at 1.61.00. All right, so now what's new in iOS 15.5? And if we check out the release notes here for 15.5, we could see there are three things that Apple mentioned as improvements and bug fixes. So this is strictly a bug fix update as expected. And we can see three different changes here. So number one, Wallet now enables Apple Cash customers to send and request money from their Apple Cash card. So if we go into our wallet and tap on our Apple Cash card, you can see we now have these new buttons right here that say request and send that allows you to send or request money using your Apple Pay Cash card. And also inside of the messages application, if you tap on the applications icon, you will see that Apple Pay has now been renamed to Apple Cash in the little app drawer down here. The next change has to do with podcasts and Apple says the Apple podcast includes a new setting to limit episodes stored on your iPhone and automatically delete older ones. So if we go into our podcast application and go to a podcast show and then go to the three dots right here and tap on settings, you will see under downloads, we have some changes. So here's 15.4.1 on the left, 15.5 on the right. You can see some minor changes to just how this looks under automatically download. It shows the default is off. Also, it used to say automatic download. So a minor change there to the verbiage, but it's no longer that kill switch. It now just says the default is off and you can turn it on right here. So when you go into here, you can see we have download and keep, and it shows if you wanna have it off completely to not download and keep any, or latest episode all the way down here. And you can see, you could change it. You have a lot of different options here to download or remove these podcast episodes. So basically, if we set this to the five latest episodes, it would download the five latest episodes of this podcast and remove all other downloads that were there and it would automatically update. So if a new one came out, it would delete the oldest one, you know, that you already have downloaded. So you can see down here, there's also some verbiage to kind of explain this feature a little bit better as well. And then the final fix that Apple mentions is a fix for home automations that are triggered by people arriving or leaving. And those would actually fail on iOS 15.4.1. And I actually mentioned this in 15.4. So this has been going on for quite a while now. So if we go into the shortcuts right here and go to automations, I have this automation right here that basically when I arrive home, it will play a certain playlist from my Apple Music account onto my HomePod, but that stopped working after iOS 15.4. I talked about it in a couple of videos and it was not fixed in 15.4.1. So now 15.5 fixes that issue with home automations. And then in the news application, we also have a preview audio option here in the contextual menu when you have a news plus featured story that includes the audio capabilities. And if we take a look at the release notes for iOS 15.5, the RC build, they are very, very similar to iOS 15.4. So there are some very minor changes in the resolved issues and also with store kit, but nothing really too interesting here in the release notes. And I'm not seeing the new Apple account card, at least not inside of the wallet application. I'm not sure if you have to have like a gift card or something like that, but I'm not seeing the new Apple account card, which is replacing the iTunes pass starting in iOS 15.5. And the reason we know that is because it is in the code of 15.5. So we'll have to wait and see if that maybe comes out at a later date or if it's just somewhere else on the OS. Of course, I will let you guys know once the final release of 15.5 
drops because Apple may be waiting, you know, to push that out server side. And then also we still have nothing on Apple Classical. So this is an application that we know is coming. It's in the code of iOS 15.5, but I'm not seeing anything on the front end related to the Apple Classical application. It's going to be its own standalone application, which is actually pretty interesting. And because of that, Apple may opt to just wait for iOS 16 before releasing a brand new app like that. And then as far as bugs go, iOS 15.5 has been relatively bug free. I mean, we have had a few issues throughout the betas, especially related to the Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro, but all of those have been resolved and they did not come back here with 15.5. I did test it on my iPad Pro. Now, one thing I will mention that is pretty annoying is inside of the shortcuts application. Every time I reboot my phone, I get this alert right here that says automations will run once your iPhone is unlocked. So I'm not sure why I get that notification every single time after I reboot my device, but it's still showing up here in iOS 15.5, the RC build. And I assume that is a bug because I don't really want to see that every time I reboot my device. And then I know some people had issues with the 120 Hertz ProMotion displays on beta one, but ever since then, everything has been fine. So you should not see any bugs related to stutter. Now, as far as performance goes, I'm going to go ahead and run a new Geekbench test here on the RC build of 15.5, but all throughout the beta stages, performance has been pretty good. It's pretty much been right on par with 15.4.1 and 15.4. So I would not expect any type of performance jump. Again, this is just a bug fix update. So you're not really going to see anything too interesting in terms of performance, battery life, or new features. It's just going to fix up some of those bugs you were facing on the previous version. So we got a pretty average Geekbench score here. So we got a 1740 on the single core and a 4793 on the multi-core. And compared to beta four, it's actually a little bit lower. So on beta four, we had a 1741 and a 4802. And then as far as battery life goes, battery life has also been pretty great here on 15 15.5 ever since the third beta. So on beta three, four, and then here on the RC, battery life is going to be pretty solid. It is a little bit better than 15.4.1 in my experience, but not by much at all. It's pretty much right on par with 15.4.1. But if you were having issues previously, 15.5 could very well fix those battery drain issues. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. And next up is most likely going to be the final release of iOS 15.5 that goes out to the public. And that's most likely coming early next week most likely on a Monday or a Tuesday. Those are the days Apple usually selects for public releases. So it's looking like the 16th or the 17th. Now, there is a slight possibility of an RC2 being released. And if that were to happen early in the week, we can expect the final to come later in the week. And as far as iOS 15.4.2 goes, in my last 15.5 beta video and the latest Apple Weekly episode, I said that if 15.4.2 did not drop this week, then it was not coming at all. And the release of this RC version pretty much confirms that. So a 15.4.2 is not coming. Now we could see a 15.5.1 before iOS 16 beta one comes on June 6th, but it would take a severe bug or a security issue for that to happen. However, keep in mind that there are still going to be several iOS 15 updates before iOS 16 officially drops later on this year. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 15.5, the RC build. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're looking forward to the final public release next week. I know I am, and I'm also really excited for iOS 16 beta one coming on June 6th. Be on the lookout for some live streams here on the channel as well. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for more iOS 15 and iOS 16 beta coverage. But anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.